How did Why the car even want... survive that trip? I hear there were worm cults. Shalador found you. Good to see you again. I've deciphered the spell inside the book. Are you prepared for Sheogorath's first test? Excellent. It's been fascinating to work with Shalador. Even though he can't read the book, he's been an invaluable resource. I had to decipher layers upon layers of meaning hidden within the tome. Yes, speak with the Archmage. He's meditating on the challenges ahead. I'm still somewhat drained from my efforts, so he'll open the portals to the Shivering Isles for you. Ariel, watch your steps. I'm very excited about this project. Shalador's Sanctuary would be a boon to every mage in Tamriel. Even Guildmaster Vanus approves of our work here. The brazier is ready. The last prepared it precisely. According to my instructions, of course. We're having trouble opening a portal directly there. So we created this anchor to help us. Some trickery of Sheogorath's, no doubt. The next time around, I'm sure this won't be an issue. <laughs> I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever show up. My lord seems to derive amusement from my annoyance. You are here to retrieve a tome for that... Shalidor person, correct? Just a moment, mortal. Lord Sheogorath asks that you perform a task first, to prove your competence. He claims to have misplaced a pair of items. Items you must recover. A fork and a staff. Please do try to be quick. My lord enjoys making me wait, but he's not very patient himself. I've opened a portal for your convenience. It should lead you directly to the fork. I'd say, at your leisure, mortal. But I expect I have more time ahead of me than you do. You never forget that smell. A dragon priest's tomb. Look at the treasures he's collected. Perhaps the fork is here as well. That chest. Perhaps the fork is in there. You dare still remain. Grim, Mark. Grim. Ah. Corridors My away. will make quick work of you. Lofty Nuki. The shadows move, Adept. Watch yourself. <laughs> Eyes to the sky. Another group. No matter. Come, face me yourself. There. The ice barrier is down. We can get through.
fork is mine. You shall not have to Waste time, shall we? Hmm, I see you have the fork. Competently done. Impressive, even. Now, for the staff. When last we spoke, my lord recalled the discomfort of desert sand. I believe it lies somewhere within Hammerfell, in the dry and decayed hands of Prince Malil. Prince Malil Alakir, the Sith of Yokuda, a formidable warrior in his day. That was over a thousand years ago, but still. As I expected, another resting place for the dead. Shea Gorath has a sick sense of humor. This is the necropolis, Asakala. The resting place of Prince Malil, also known as the Scythe of Yakuda. The prince's underlings were clever. They crafted magical seals to guard his resting place. Observe the Yakudan statues. Each bears a crystal in the helm and a seal at the base. The essences you see swirling around in the air here? Their energy can be used to unlock those keystones. Here. I can grant an aura that will allow you to capture the essences as they pass through you. Collect as many of the small ones as you can. They should unlock these scarab seals on the statues nearby. I'll need to consider the other two. This place is incredible. The ancient Red Guards were a noble and accomplished people. You're going to regret this. You have the essences. Imbue them into one of the scarab seals. Who dares disturb my slumber? Good. Now to collect four more. Four. Imbue them into the other seal. For such a superstitious, mage hating people, this place is a work of art. Have you observed the sand barriers on those passages in the canyon walls? I suspect the Prince's generals may be waiting within. Their essences would no doubt be more than enough to activate the other two statues. Very simple, Adept. The seals at the basis of those statues show a scorpion and a spider. Those were the spirit totems claimed by Malil's chief generals, Sadina and Rashomta. The statue well, will be marked with the that. spider seal.
Mage Malil. Who's better than us? Nobody. Sabina's statue should have the scorpion seal at its base. Go to the center. You should find the key to Prince Malil's tomb there. Didn't think you could get any stronger. Something. I guess Haskell will be waiting outside. Let's go. Another successful retrieval, I see. Very well, then. I have instructions to have you return to the Isles. My lord will have a word with you. Ah, right on time. Welcome back. Look, Haskell! Farky's back! Oh, it's so nice to see him again! <laughs> oh, uh, good to see you too, mortal, I guess. Wonderful! I'll just take... <gasps> Forky. Oh, I miss you so much, Forky. Let's never, never be parted again. Oh, it gives me goosebumps just to hold him in my hand again. <laughs> ah, the Wabajack! Malil held it down in that dusty tomb for so long. Say, why don't you clear its throat? Take it in hand and use it on some of these holier-than-thou temple types. Ah, no need to worry, you pretty mortal head. The Wabajack, it unleashes the potential in everyone. The unrecognized essence of artistic beauty that swells and beats within the... Look, you want the book? Whack some folks with a Wabajack! Always there seems more to do. Next.
bit rusty, but not bad. So funny watching you mortals muck around with things you can't possibly understand. <laughs> I'll be needing that back now. And as promised, Debok. Well, go ahead. Take it. Once it's yours, it'll send you straight back to Tamriel. Funny how books have a way of transporting you. <laughs> uh, no? Oh. Simply hold your breath, close your eyes, and count to, uh, let's say, a million. Ah, you've returned. Do you have the second book? Excellent. The Circus of Cheerful Slaughter? That's quite a title. I'll begin my research immediately. Can't wait to get to it. <laughs> 